Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this project. This is Sleeping Beauty from Stamperia for Scrap and Create and you can get all your supplies there. There's a link down below and there's a link down below for the cutting guide for this project. So we're just about done. This is going to be a pretty short video. Um, I'm going to show you, we're going to do the cover and it's a pretty simple cover so it shouldn't take us too long. I have already done the closure. Don't worry that I didn't show you that because I have a whole video on how to do that, but I'll go over it with you as well briefly. And then I'm going to go through and show you what I've done on the inside already. But let's go ahead and do the cover. So what I have, this is, if you remember, I had the wooden shapes. This is one of the, here's the, here's the package, the wooden shapes and so I have this one, this little wooden one that says Sleeping Beauty, and I have this little wooden rose from the wooden shapes. And I think I'm going to use those, the ones I have left, or at least some of the ones I have left, in another project. Um, so I have those two pieces, and then from the die cuts I have these, these two little roses that I'm going to use. And then I have, this is from the 8x8, eight eight, and it's just cut right along this line here. And that is going to go there. And then I cut a piece of chipboard just slightly smaller. Let me grab my ruler. All right, so this piece is 5 and 7 eighths by 8. Yeah, so I didn't cut the length at all. And then this is just a little smaller. So this is 7 and 3 quarters by 5 and a half give or take it was a scrap that I had. Okay so let me just slide this over for a second somewhere. Know where to put it. Okay. okay and on this piece I did use this gold wax on the edges and also on the edges of these wooden pieces. You can use whatever ink you like you don't have to use that. All right so I am going to attach this to the back. Okay, and this is smaller than this piece, so just sort of center it if you can. pretty good and I did you know I had several things I played with this cover um, with lots and lots of flowers and stuff but I just love the richness of this paper and I really want it to show but I do want to add some dimension so that's why I really like the wooden shapes for this Oops. Okay. and then I also have these little rosebuds they're from um, a Graphic 45 collection on um, Scrap and Create. Um, I might use those. I'm not sure. Okay. Let me slide that over. I have this little um, fussy cut piece too. I use. So what I'm thinking, if we put that over a little bit more to the right, let me pull out. I know I don't need the full length. So. Hang on. Like I was wondering if I sort of tuck the stem under so they were just sort of coming up along the side. See, I feel like that just distracts. Okay, I'm not going to do that. All right, so I am going to put this down basically centered. And if you don't have chipboard, you don't have to. You could use foam tape or just nothing. You don't have to lift it up. I just think it uh, looks nice to have a little bit of dimension, especially where I am not going to use a lot of flowers. I have some little white flowers, but I think they might be too white. Oops, I just stuck my hand right in all the glue. So you can probably tell that I have not 100% settled on this cover but that's usual I don't usually 
um, make up my mind until I'm doing it. Okay, I'm just gonna unclasp that so I can open it. This centered up there. I'll turn it around. I guess it's, I guess it's straight. Okay, so I'm going to put that up there. Might as well do it. And I'm just going to center it, eyeballing it. I might have put too much glue on that. It's slithering around quite a bit. That looks good. Okay. And I like the dimension these wooden shapes give. They're pretty thick. Um, and then what I was thinking have several of these is see the little I don't know if you can see there's roses on her pillowcase so I thought maybe just replicate that idea down here with this wooden one and some of these little ones like that maybe whoops and I actually brought out one from my paper flowers that I might tuck a leaf underneath too. I'm just kind of fidgeting. It won't go there, but and then I'm wondering do I want anything up there? I do not. Okay, so let's see if we did like a leaf there. Let's turn that so those are kind of there. And that one there. All right, so something like that, like a grouping of three and then a wooden one on top. thinking that will work. But what I'm going to do is just tear the bottom off of this because I really don't need the whole thing. And just put that there first. I don't know how much of it will even show, but put that there. Okay. And then like that. I think if I, I might not even need a third one. But maybe just do that. Three is a better number anyway. Okay, let's try that. is the wooden one and again that balances the height that we have there because these are pretty thick these wooden shapes Very simple cover, but 
I think those wooden shapes make up for it with their dimension. I do have some little crystals and I have some little half pearls. I think these might be too shiny for this. I don't think so. Okay, let me show you this closure. All right. And I've got some extra chain on here, which I left on purpose so that I could show it to you. So hang on. I may end up showing a um, like a still photo here while I'm talking, just so you can see more clearly. All right. So I'm so what I did is I put a big oval jump ring, you could use a circular, but I had oval, through the holes in the cover. And then I attached a piece of chain to each jump ring. And that piece of chain is about three inches long, which is way longer than you need. Okay. Then I went about, it really depends on the size of your chain. You're going to have to play with it a little bit. But I went about 10 links down and added my closure. I've got a little um, lobster claw closure. So I've got the lobster on that side and the little attachy bit on this side. Clasped it, decided it was a little bit too long. And from the jump ring side, I moved it up three more. So I had three. So in the one, two, three, the fourth one from the beginning, I moved it to that one. So I have three rings hanging here and then seven to the closure. So three and seven. And again, I have a whole video on how to do this. And then at the other end, there's just long extra chain hanging down. Okay. And what I did is I just put the charms that I wanted where I wanted them so they would hang the right length without regard for leaving any extra chain hanging. And then I added some chain charms in between. And I'll show you a close up so you can see. And all these charms came with my scrap and create order. Okay. Um, so now all I have to do is trim off this extra chain that's hanging down. Okay. But like on this side here, on the extra chain that's hanging down, I hung two charms. So I really only have three or four links to take off on that side. On this side, I use the key and it's very long. So I have a lot of chain left here to take off. All right, so that's how I did that. Now let's open it up and let's go through. I'm gonna do a walkthrough video, but I want you to see. Now at this point, anything that you do is 100% optional. and depends on how you think you're going to use this book. You know how, what kind of pictures and all that but I'll show you what I've done so you've already seen that so I'm not gonna open that we didn't add anything here I didn't make side pocket inserts didn't feel like it needed them but you could there's three spots for them so in here this is from the card set all of the mats are just um, craft cardstock plain on the back matted so you can see what I did there. And again, make them the sizes you need or think you're gonna want for your photos. And remember, we did this together. I added this from the card pack and then just tucked a couple of little things. This is from the card pack. This is a matted um, photo mat. And again, I'm gonna go through all this in the walkthrough. Um, so again, matted photo mat. So you probably have already seen all this. And then I took a scrap here and just glued it on this side and at the bottom just to make a semi pocket tuck spot. And a mat here and from the card pack. that together. 
Um, we did this together, but I did tuck in just a little tag just to show that it was a tuck spot. And a matted photo mat here and a cut apart. Another, all, all I put made, I didn't make any tags or anything. I'm just using things from that card pack and little matted photo mats. And we did that together. Here, I've just got a matted photo mat. Again, this is something that you'll just put what you need for your purposes. Um, I did this on the cover when we made the cover. This is the piece that was cut off. So I put it in here as another one of those glued here and here as a sort of semi pocket. Photo mat. Another photo mat and a cut apart. I think. That, that one we did this together and then in here I've got a cut apart and just a photo mat and then I did not put anything on the back because he's so awesome and I didn't put anything on the spine because we have the castle which I thought was perfect I have left these dangling I'll probably trim them but for now they're dangling um, and that is that Okay, I hope that you have enjoyed it. I'm having an issue. Okay, I don't know. My, I'm getting an error on my audio, so hopefully you can hear it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. I enjoyed it very much. It's a beautiful collection, and you can get everything at Scrap and Create. There's a link below and a link to the cutting guide down below. And I will see you next time, and we will be working, I believe, with Alice. I am going to make another project with Sleeping Beauty, but I think I'm going to do Alice first and then come back to Sleeping Beauty. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.